What up, y'all? In this video, I'm going to show you how to save your external instruments as presets or user patches that you can always recall versus building it from scratch. All right. And if you have external instruments, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Keyboards, synthesizers and all that. All right. So we'll do it the long way first and then I'll show you how to save it. OK, so normally you hit your external MIDI. You choose your input that your uh, external device is connected to. So mine, let's say the Integra is going into seven and eight on my sound card. You choose your MIDI track, right? And you press create. So now that our MIDI track's created, we can record as normal as if it was a VST. Now to turn that into audio, I'd have to create an audio track. Choose my input source, which is gonna be my, let's choose that same Integra input since it's wired in that way. You'd choose your input as to whatever you have it connected to on your interface, right? And then I would just hit record, arm the track like normal. Hit record. So that's how we would normally print the audio. If I wanted to do this for a different sound, I would have to do the exact same step, right? Delete this MIDI, go to my next sound, change it to, let's say, a piano, and then repeat the process. So for me, that's a headache, so let me show you what I do now. Okay, so making my preset from scratch, I'm gonna repeat the same processes that I did before. But this time, once I do it, I don't have to do it again. So choose my external MIDI, make sure you use external instrument plugins checked off. Choose your input that your keyboard is going to or drum machine or whatever. Choose your MIDI destination and your output. I'm going to name this Integra MIDI. Let's add our audio file going into that same input. I can name this Integra Print or if you know you're doing a keyboard sound, name it whatever the keyboard sound it is, right? So let's say Integra Piano. Now I just highlight both of these, right click, or Shift Command D, Summon Stack. So now that you've created your Summon Stack, it puts both channels inside of a folder. So I'll just name this Integra. I just start changing my icons, customize it a little more. All right, let me make this a little bigger so you guys can see it. So now I have my summing stack called Integra. I can collapse it, get it out the way. And I can do this as many times as I want based on the track that you build now or the session. So now that we have that set, I'm gonna record the same way I did before and watch this. If I want to print that, go down to my audio channel, press record. And of course, just like every other VST instrument, you can alter your MIDI um, however you want to prior to printing it out. So now here's how I would save this track stack for future use and not have to build everything from scratch again. Okay, so just press Y on your keyboard or just click up here on the library icon. Go down to where it says user patches. And you see I already have some saved in there, right? But all you do is click right here where it says save at the bottom. You name the patch, whatever you want to name the patch, and then just hit save. All right, I'm not going to do it again since I already have it in here. Now, the benefit of that is say I want a different instrument. I'll do the same thing, external instrument. Let's choose... Um, let's say my mini log. If I go to user patches over here in the corner without even touching anything else on the screen, it should show me my presets. Then I just go down to mini log XD. Notice it gave me my track stack. 
And if I open it, let me close the library, press Y, you see my mini log, right? So that's pretty much it. Just repeat the process based on however amount of sense you have in your studio. Hopefully you found value in this. Don't forget to share this with somebody. Please press like, subscribe also, and see you in the next one.